babysitted by this Angela. The Angela can roam around, perhaps um, help the Joy out if they do get invaded, and it gives more options for inside of Alter Ego. Evos Glory responds with a very quick pick. Lilia, a hero that is so good in denying the Terizla, and as well as perhaps the Joy. Man, that is very difficult. We talked about the oh, that clear, the Lilia clear is even worse. Dreams. And a, you know, in a big fight, it's gonna be a lot, a lot more difficult there to deal with all this clutch control. The Paquito, even hey. making an appearance right here. So long as I can breathe. The Paquito, the Paquito. I can smell on. blood already here. If it were to give, if, if, if it's going to have the hands of Veldora. Quite comfortable as well. Signature of Veldora with this Paquito. Very aggressive now. Pi, um, Terizla, as we all know, lane maker, lane making hero. Not much of a laner per se. So, in that EXP, who do you give points to? It really depends. If we are talking about team fight participation, neutral objective control, I think I should have to give Wait. it to Alter Ego. But Evo's glory. I think their, their laning is very, very. Oh, that's another Fovius, though. It's the signature Pi Fovius. Wait a minute. It's but it's oh. going to the mid lane on Kright. Oh my Yo. God. It's an Angela Rome. Oh, this is a scary composition from Alter Ego. Evos did answer the question. Who's going to be the main physical damage source? And is that Paquito? We've seen that now. It's the metaphor: full damage Paquito should be good on like as a as a sole physical damage dealer. They already have a Harith as well. But yeah, the, the firepower of Alter Ego. And keep in mind the Paquito skills, the the knockout strike and the jab. It's a lot wider now. They've increased the Adjusted. the hit box technically, right? The how wide the skill is. So he can completely just knock up a, the whole team of Alter Ego. So yes, there's a Fulvius. Yes, there's a lot of like dive in potential damage as well. But can they withstand the crowd control? Can they survive long enough to get hit and then hit back? Well, let's see. Will the Spikito create significance for the second game? Remember, Alter Ego, they just need one more point to secure the series. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the land of dawn, where Alter Ego, they will try and fight, find a sweep in their debut match for MPL Season 13. Now we have a very interesting matchup in our hands, man. The Baksha against the Joy. Good clear for both, but one significantly tankier and more mobile than the other, technically in the rotations. So I think this is where the side laners again will make a difference. But looking at the Rome's priority right now, you can see mid lane for the side of Alter Ego. Whereas for Van Strong on that Ruby, he is trying to be as annoying as possible, man. Leveraging this early game power that they have secured in their draft. Uh, very good just balance here, right? Spell check, it's all flickers, no purifies here for a second. Okay, oh, oh, right now. First and almost towards the 30% of his HP, but now still surviving. Well, the presence of the Angela really makes the lane a bit more bearable, that's for sure. We'll see what can do what they can do afterwards though, because the Phobius isn't the best of rovers. So it's gonna provide a lot of magic damage, but he won't be able to, to actually impact the fights in the side laners and now pass in the scope of Evo's Legends. Oh, well, I don't think it's a Roamer though. I think it's, it's a, a mid, uh, mid. Phobius. Uh, it's a Rossi Angela Rome, right? So yeah, but see here, with the peel that Captain Phobius can provide, are you saying that it's not enough? The eye of the... Well, the eye, right? The, the pullback from the second skill, that's the only real clutch control he has, and now fine. He was they're just making aggressive moves around the side that the turtle is spawning in. They're trying to make sure they have all the control so that Taz will not find a quick hole. He'll be able to just wiggle in and maybe go for a big play of steel. Oh, very low on the turret, 1 HP, now forced to recall. That's where Evo's glory make their move on the turtle. Rossi will be able to flicker out of the shield unity there. Evo's glory will control this Rossi knockout strike by Veldora. Doing a lot of damage, man. Strong trying to invade right now. Taz will just be focused on. No, goes back, knockout strike, knocking him up. Electrifying beats onto Van, onto the turtle. Retribution battle, it's gonna be Taz who wins it. 50-50 on the board, Christ. Demonic Force onto the back, Van Strong gonna be taken down. Oh, one more hit, and Kright gets first blood. Taz gets the first turtle. Everything goes perfectly for Alter Ego. Right on the board, and yes, wow. Alter Ego winning this important, important early game there. I can see here, Evo's glory. They were able to somehow find momentum with 
forcing Pi using the flicker, but they weren't able to punch back or punch further. The wow. two ex Evos members were the two members that shined in that team fight. That's a mm. that's an oof. That's a better pill to swallow for Evos right here. And this is again showing that they're all in on the aggression, but their team doesn't really do well moving backwards, right? That's where Alter Ego actually has a huge advantage. So if Evos have secured so much crowd control, they have to make sure that this time they're the ones that make the fight decisive, instant. If they're going back and forth, the Joy, the Fulvius, the Angela will make this a lot more difficult. It's almost like the shoe is on the other foot. Now, Alfrigo are the ones moving back and forth with sustain that the Minotaur provide for Evos in the previous game. Unity, Autorasi still has a bit of potential here. That's oh. gonna be a lot of damage placed out back onto them. For the Demonic Force now, it's Taz with the Electrifying Beast, torn apart memory, not dealing enough damage there, but he still got one kill over with a few basic attacks. Warlord is down for Rossi, and I think Alter Ego will take that trade any day of the week. It's a very good trade for Alter Ego. Good recovery, right? Because Rossi, he was on a tight corner there, and taken out, but the recovery. Beautiful there by Nino. Evos, Rory there were, were unable to really find an effective trade from that fight. One of the first picks in this game, well, one of the earlier picks at least, was the Boxia for Evos. And I was thinking that maybe this Boxia power in the early game, the mobility, will allow it to be a bit more uh, in control of like where the fights happen and all, and all that. But Alter Ego, they're doing a great job just baiting Evos in into those fights that are really not in their favor. Take a look at the mid lane here, right? Um, Evo's Glory, they're trying to show intimidation, trying to find it. A control, more control here in that turtle, but it seems like you're in no rush, considering that the Angela they notice is missing. Right? Of course, they will not, they will hesitate here in trying to commit on towards the turtle. As Alter Ego, though, they will not give this turtle freely. Show oh. unity. On to Pi this time, right? Demonic Force still there. Penalty zone on the two locks him down and flickers out to safety. The Demonic Force is still ready for Cry as he gonna, he's gonna be able to pop it in all the way onto Veldora. That's a 50-50. Van wins it this oh. time, but it's gonna be super low. Van Strong gonna reverse it down by the rhythm. Now just the electrifying beats necessary, but he doesn't have it on cooldown. Van's gonna be chased down still though, and Rossi picks up the kill. They lose out on the turtle, but they win out in the fight, and now they transition into the mid push where they're gonna be able to find a tier one for free. That is a huge win again for the side of Alter Ego. They got the mid, another pause occurred. But yes, right on time, Land of Dawn, here we go. Minute number six. Six. Yeah, we will continue the match here as Nino has somehow has predicted quite independent here, but oh, Evos with oh. the conceal. Shield Unity, Hard Guard still there to three man penalty zone. He's actually gonna be able to Nino. help Nino survive. He flickers down a torn apart memory, fade away, finds a kill. And Pi capitalizes on that Nino damage to find another. Nothing is going Evo's Glory's way. Evo's Glory, they weren't ready for that play. They weren't ready for the counter setup. Wow. And Alter Ego, they read Evo's Glory like a book. Like a kindergarten book. Like a picture book, man. I think they were really expecting the hard guard, of course, the flicker. But I don't know if they were expecting Pi. Just waiting in the bushes there, man. That was sus. He just came out of nowhere. And they just ruined the whole play, man. Four-man penalty zone, stopping all the follow-up from chasing Nino under the tower. That's disastrous for Evo's glory. But now they're going to go at it again. They have the mobility advantage. Van goes in. Shield unity, two levels down. Good, I'm offended. Connecting on the twos. Amar Force is well, but the... Penalty zone connects again onto two members. Dino just dealing free damage in the back. One shotting, taking them out. Warlord forced to pop in the black shoes, but he only falls to the clutches of Taz. My goodness gracious, Alter Ego are ferocious. Man, a throw in the towels is Alter Ego. They're not stopping right now. Evo's glory, zero answers. And Halbert already secured as well. What does that mean? Van will not be as tanky. He is like a cracker. He's so, so easy to kill. Otherwise, nothing to out of the ordinary apart from that fast farm by Brody. Well, look at the Van, dude. He does not have a single oh, item man. completed. You're wondering why he's squishy, why he's a cracker, Gani. Look at him. Look at the physical damage source. He has to go with Athena. He's brittle. Now, even Just the Lilia, bucks. right? Rushing the Necklace of Durance to deal with the Angela. There's no damage. 
He's not a real threat. They have to rely on Super oh. Red. Oh, wait a minute. BPZ, Veldora, smooshed and torn by the Brody. Nino finds it now, going for the siege on the tier two ward, or still able to clear out the wave. Meanwhile, mid lane Taz pushing it down as well, shoving these waves and knocking on Evo's glory's base. You know what? I think Evo's glory now, again, same story like game one. They need to just hit that contingency button and just drag this game out, even though if that happens, it's still not a sure win, right? Fun fact here, two games of EVO's Glory early to mid game potential is actually ahead. It's higher they, than Alter It's Ego. higher than Alter Ego, but they fail on the execution. Oh, again, Banstrom gets deleted. Taz is walking the back line down. He just takes Super Red out. Meanwhile, Van and Warlord were still holding that push. Oh, man. The Joy is deleting everything. This is going from bad to worse for Evos, man. Now they have no control. Now no one can stay in the front. I said that they have to try and go for flanks, make it difficult. Just spread apart so that there's no combo. The AoE oh from Alter Ego can't work. But when they're this far behind, is it even possible? Man, they just keep going for the straightforward plays, sending Van barreling into the first member they see. But Alter Ego, they're just planning way too far ahead for that to work. Just two kills now for EVOS Glory in the second game. Show Zero that Alter Ego, they're not messing around here in their second game. Now the First Lord has spawned here. And of course, EVOS Glory with their firepower, with their lack of resources as well, they will not be able to just, you know, contest that Lord. Are they going to opt for, you know, avoiding a team fight and going for a split push? Because now for Alter Ego, even that is something that they can do, right? They've been sending Taz to go alone. They can send Rossi to clear waves. And for Evos, the only real feasible play is to send Veldora on the Paquito, going aggressively, and maybe going for a dive and taking out Rossi in order to get something massive. But he might get taken out instead. Penalty's on, just one shot and a flicker! Oh, oh, oh. With a torn apart memory, gets him to that godlike status that he's waiting for. Nino now rotating to the mid lane with the help of Pai and Krite, looking for another objective and they will be able to find it the tier two in the mid lane almost as free as that 50 percent off the first 10 time draw go ahead and take a take a look at it boys aspirants <laughs> call it amigo arashi will it end before 14 20. Mirko. uh 14 20. i think it will end yeah uh over 14 20. over 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 it has to be over 20. gotcha right you all check the Minutes, the counters for the Lord. Yeah, good. But yes, <laughs> just good. <laughs> you know what else is good? What? Oh, take a look at Sope, guys. Yeah, you should check it out. Top up diamonds for the game. MLBB, that's ML Bang Bang. It's free. 100 times a month transfer to all banks. It's very convenient, man. I mean, it's built into so many different things. The GoPay, but... Right now, for Alter Ego, it's just smooth sailing from here, man. No, there's no real maneuver that Evos can really surprise them with. Wow. It's going in for the objective, zoning away. Look at Taz. <laughs> hold up, hold up. This bullet. Walking up electrifying beats. Oh my god, Vanstron can't even do anything. That's the anti CC built into this electrifying beats. So Evos can only watch as he dances. You know what? I, you know what I was thinking, right? Usually in football, whenever you score against your former team, you don't celebrate. Will Taz celebrate Oof. if they do seal the victory? Will Taz and Cry celebrate? Oh, sure. Will Rex celebrate in the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. And now, again, ladies and gentlemen, quite one sided the situation that we have here. 11k on the deficit of that gold, right? So, Evos, Glory, they're throwing punches, but they're punching air. Pie oh again. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Oh man, oh the disrespect. God. We got the recalls happening already. This Woo! time, Van tried to open that bush. The last time I saw a player open that bush, they got shotgun, bro. Boink! They got deleted. Boink! That's a scary bush to be in. And Pai just stood there menacingly. Look at Van, dude. He's getting zoned away by a quote unquote yeah. assassin. But on the top side, though, good value for Evos, and they have control here. Can they pressure Alter Ego? into losing control over the Lord. Never mind. 
They go for a trade, which is, again, the best thing they could look for right now. I don't think they have an opportunity to actually walk up and go for the Lord. So they'll pick up a tier two. It's still, it's the best trade they could ask for. And also bad news for Eva's Glory. Taz has picked up the Genius Wand, which is a nasty, nasty um, item as well, considering, take a look. Lilia, of course, Herod here, no magic resist items whatsoever. It will what, first Athena? of all. Athena, what? Athena, what? Oh. Electrifying beats, my god, a damage and the tie up as well. It's an Athena, brother. Holy moly. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. It's just gone. Way too squishy, man. Just no. gone. This potentially may be the final push of the series, ladies and gentlemen. 15 to 2, 12,000 gold lead. Let's see, can Alter Ego pull it off? Oh, that's your answer. He just broke the turret. Now oh. penalty zone to the front. Super Red. So holding on to that flicker van, holding on to the Lord, but Alter Ego are not concerned with the Lord. They're actually going to go for the base turret in the mid lane. Taz still posturing over, getting a position to possibly dive in. They're waiting for another wave. They still are in no rush. They have the time to play with, and it's been, it's over 1420. Hey. Well, hey. Alter Ego needs to be a bit careful though. They're moving very aggressively, but they're not all grouped together to back each other up. It's almost like they are expecting Evos to chicken out when they're called on their bluff. But if Evos realize that, they can possibly get like a 5v5v3. Hard guard, electrifying beast, penalty zone. The flicker only catching Van. Van strong on the back. I'm offended with the oh. flicker as well. Bringing Pike back all the way to the base. He's still going to be able to tank out so much of the damage. Short apart member used up. No members killed just yet. Quite forced to flick around and Ultra Ego. If they get this base turret up top, it should be extremely value. But Evo's glory are still able to hold their ground and finally are showing some signs of life. A uh, very good defense here shown by Evo's glory. But, but again, um, technically Alter Ego didn't go all in, right? right. Uh, they still managed to save some flickers, which might be useful for their next offense. And in the next minute or so, there will be Lord. Should... Evo's glory move and advance forward. It's nothing to lose. Do or die. Should they contest? Mm, I think if they don't, if they don't contest, I feel like it's going to be a bit difficult for them to defend. Right now, they've kind of caught up, as in they have some damage now, right? No longer are the damage dealers of Evo's ignored by Alter Ego and Taz. Again, just boom. Might be overextended. No, oh, never mind. I keep saying maybe, but they just keep showing me like nah. Nah, nah, man, that's not it. That's the Taz way of electrifying beats. <laughs> man, man. Let's see here, 10 seconds to the uh, not yet evolved Lord. But yeah, Alter Ego. Um, seems like still, of course, holding the map control here again. Evos, do or die. Should they contest here as uh, Veldora is still top side? No. Seems like they will not have enough time to contest, oh, but they oh. are marching onwards. We are still holding on to with Warlord. Walking up very aggressively. Black Shoes already popped in as well. As Quite jumps into the back line. Fan is in the midst of it all right now, but I'm afraid it's going to be able to connect. But Taz is still going to be able to be the one to secure it and they kill as well. Veldora 1 HP, but Rossi with a flicker forward. Oh, double. Finds a double. The Angela in game number two with a double kill in the 17th minute of the game. Three members left standing with an enhanced Lord in the mid lane. El Familia, baby, and an Alter Ego now. That was earlier, that last Lord was potentially his last push, but this is surely their last push what? in the mid. Oh, Van Strong is getting bursted down by the Assassin, poked down by Crichton, now forced to go in. I'm offended, Flicker, bring him back, but a penalty zone is just there for formality. Oh, they oh, dive oh. in the base! It's Crichton who dunks on him! It is all over, and you can see here, the Taz celebrate the answer is yes. Holy moly, El Familia with the rebuild, a successful one at that for now. 2-0, convincing win. Sending a statement to the crowd, you don't mess with family. 2-17, that's crazy. With Cry dunking.